we travel back in time more than 3.8 billion years when the first forms of life developed under extremely difficult conditions on Earth, blistering heat and meteorite impacts. And with them, the first amino acids entered the primeval oceans. Under as yet unknown circumstances, single-cell organisms emerged, the origin of all life. 300 million years later, the first colonies of bacteria formed. These include cyanobacteria, also known as spirulina microalgae, or blue algae. In contrast to the amino acids, these microalgae were able to transform carbon dioxide into oxygen with the help of sunlight, a process generally known as photosynthesis and considered to this day to be the origin of atmospheric life. Highly efficient protective mechanisms against prevailing life-threatening conditions such as high temperatures or unfiltered aggressive ultraviolet rays, and also special defensive mechanisms against natural enemies such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi, make spirulina microalgae so unique and capable of survival to this day. Many years of research by scientists has shown that these extensive defense mechanisms are also beneficial when applied to human skin. With the help of special preparatory methods, it was possible to activate the entire range of these defense mechanisms in the active microalgae ingredient, spirulin. Under normal conditions, UV rays damage our skin cells and make the skin age prematurely. Spirulin demonstrates protective and regeneration mechanisms. Put simply, the outer level of our skin, the epidermis, renews itself completely around every 28 days. In the process, new skin cells are formed from the base membrane, and at the same time, old skin cells are repelled as skin flakes. Collagen fibers, which are produced by specialized skin cells, the so-called fibroblasts, form the base of the skin, giving it form and structure. When exposed to strong UV rays, these collagen-forming fibroblasts lose almost 50% of their activity, which results in a more rapid aging of the skin. Experimental studies show that the cell protection provided by spirulin with the same amount of UV radiation allows this loss in activity to be largely avoided, or that already damaged fibroblasts can regain about 50% of the lost activity. Just as interesting are the natural antimicrobial protective mechanisms of the spirulina microalgae. In stress situations, they protect against damaging fungi with their own enzymes by splitting and thus destroying the chitin structures of the fungi. When transferred to the human body, the extracted enzymes in spirulin can protect our skin and nails to a highly efficient degree against fungal damage without damaging our skin cells in the process. Even problematic wound bacteria such as Staphylococcus aureus and even antibiotic-resistant strains, also known as MRSA germs, can be repelled by spirulin. And microalgae can even protect against viruses. Viruses are known to be unable to reproduce themselves. Instead, the host cells they penetrate are reprogrammed to carry out this task. Here, the microalgae defends itself with the help of a proven antimicrobial protective effect by means of special sugar molecules. Due to their surface structure, these polysaccharides occupy the receptors used by viruses to penetrate healthy skin, such as herpes simplex viruses that cause lip herpes, or wart-forming human papilloma viruses. The result? It works. Naturally.